To celebrate our 20th anniversary of Lakeland News, we are taking a look back at some of the memorable local stories we've covered over the years. It's called 20 for 20. 20 stories in all, one for each of the 20 years we've been on the air with Lakeland News. Tonight we flash back to the year 2005. It was a time when smoking was allowed in most bars and restaurants in Minnesota. But Beltrami County passed an ordinance banning smoking in public places, and it went into effect on the first of that year. Here's a portion of that story from reporter Rebecca Trulch. It's business as usual today for bars and restaurants in Beltrami County with one noticeable difference. Between the hours of 3 a.m. and 8 p.m., you're not going to find an ashtray on any table or bar top. The ashtrays are put away as part of the county's new smoking ordinance, which took effect on Saturday. Saturday morning when we opened up, we had first five tables in the door that day actually asked to sit in the lounge because they had never been over there before because it had always been too smoky in the past. We're already seeing an impact on our business. We've had people walk out. Those tips that they get from customers that are in the bar enjoying themselves, having a smoke, affects their bottom line. I'm so used to going home smelling like a big old cigarette by the end of the day, being all congested. Now I can go home and relax or go out somewhere else and not worry about stinking. Beltrami County proved to be well ahead of the times. On October 1st of 2007, the entire state of Minnesota became smoke free when Governor Tim Pawlenty signed a statewide smoking ban into law. And you can watch that entire story on our website lptv.org tomorrow. Next Wednesday night, we'll take a look back at a story from 2006. That seems like a long time ago when there was smoking in bars. <laughs> you almost forgot that there was. <laughs> yeah, and I forgot that they originally in Beltrami County went to just a limited hour window mm -hmm. and still had, but they did all change real quick in the next couple of years. Did, and yeah. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.